Welcome to ETAP's video tutorial titled Composite Networks. Composite Networks provide the user with the capability to construct complex electrical networks while still maintaining a clean, uncluttered diagram that displays what the user wants to emphasize. We will demonstrate this through the use of example ANSI. Let's begin by running LoadFlow. Let's inspect the one line using the hand tool. In order to use the hand tool, simply hold down the space bar and use the mouse as navigation. Notice that the load flow calculations and results are made available throughout the one line. Sub2A-N is an example of a composite network. Double-click on the network to explore its contents. Within this network lies a nested composite network named Net1. Note that ETEP provides the user with the capability to nest an unlimited amount of composite networks. Now let's create a composite network. Highlight a section and then right click on it. From the drop down menu, select Cut. This section of the one line now gets moved to your system dumpster. The system dumpster will be explained more thoroughly in the videos titled System Dumpster Basics and System Dumpster Applications. Find the composite network icon in your edit toolbar. Once you have identified it, drag and drop it in the spot where the section of your one line used to exist. By default, Every composite network has four pins located at the left, the top, the right, and the bottom of the composite network window. Clicking back onto your one line, connect the top pin to the bus labeled sub SWGR. Within the composite network, you can see that the top pin's name changes to sub 3 SWGR. Since we are only using the top pin, we can hide the remaining pins by right clicking on the one line and selecting hide unconnected pins. Now we can bring in the section of the one line back from the system dumpster and place it into this composite network. Now let's practice creating a composite motor. A composite motor is similar to a composite network, except that the user can only place loads in it. The advantage of a composite motor is that it takes the motors and includes them inside a composite without using an extra node or bus. Now that we have finished completing our composite motor, we can take this section of our one line containing both a composite network and a composite motor and place them in another composite network.
You can change the number of pins by right-clicking on the composite network and selecting pins. From there, you can select the composite network with up to 20 pins. For this scenario, we will be choosing 8 pins. DC systems may also be included in a composite network. In order to make your one line more identifiable, the user has the option to rename it to something that better describes its contents. To do so, simply double click on its one line and a prompt will ask you for a name. In this case, I will name this composite network DC Systems. Once you have finished adjusting your one line, go to the 3D database toolbar and find the composite network drop down menu. Here you will find a list of the composite networks that we have just built. This menu will make it easier for the user to move from one composite network to the next, and even back to your study view.